What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Tweak Spot video. Yesterday I was browsing the jailbreak subreddit when I came across a post that discussed a newly discovered bug that bricks your iPhone. I wasn't going to post my next video until Thursday, but I decided to jump on this opportunity to show this to you guys. So if you haven't heard of this newly discovered bug, people are calling it the 1970 bug. I'll get to why in a few seconds. Know that it works on all 64-bit devices such as the iPhone 5S, 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what that bug is and how it works. And I'll be doing it to my own phone, and that's because I want you guys to see that it is reversible. In fact, this will be the first time I attempt the bug, as well as the attempt to fix it. So to get started, if you go to your settings, general, then date and time, setting your iPhone manually to January 1st, 1970 results in your device being bricked when you try to restart the phone. Scroll down on this little scroll wheel until it stops, but then when it stops, pull it down and it'll jump back 5 to 10 years. The bug happens when you get to January 1st, 1970. Frankly, it doesn't matter what the time is set to on the clock as long as it's January 1st. The bug happens when you back out of the settings and then power down your phone. But now when you hold down the power button to reboot your phone, you're stuck on the boot logo. The interesting thing is that restoring your device through iTunes does not fix this. Additionally, doing what's called a hard reset, where you hold down your power button and home button together for 10 seconds, doesn't fix your device either. So at this point you're probably thinking that there's no hope, and that the issue is only fixable by going to the Apple Store, but you'd be wrong. The first thing you can do is set your iPhone aside and let the battery drain completely. When you finally put it on the charger and turn it back on, the device should work properly. The other option, if you don't want to wait for hours on end for your phone to die, is to simply open up your iPhone and physically disconnect the battery. I'm showing you that process here in Hyperlapse, but if you need a step-by-step -step instruction on how to open up the screen and disconnect the battery, check out the first couple of minutes of my first video. Now when you close your iPhone and turn on the power button, it's no longer bricked, and it'll restart normally. Now, if you're jailbroken, you're in luck, because there's a way to completely prevent this bug from ever happening. All you have to do is open up Cydia, go to your sources, click on Xiphon at the bottom, and then go to his tweaks, and find his tweak called Bricking Date. The way this tweak works is that it completely disables the date and time tab under your general settings, so that whenever you click on it, there's nothing there, and there's no way that you or anyone could change the time on your phone to January 1st, 1970. I forgot to mention, if you don't already have Xiphon as part of your sources in Cydia, I'll be posting his repo in the description below. So anyway guys, those are the two ways that you can either fix your iPhone if the bug has already happened, or the one way you can completely prevent it from happening if your iPhone is jailbroken. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more in the future.